Each and every year, the IRS reports the most common blunders that taxpayers may make on their returns. And every single year, at or near the top of the big oops list, <laughs> is forgetting to enter your Social Security number at the top of that tax form. Mark Lampkin here with Lampkin Wealth Management to tell us about all the top mistakes that people make. But before we jump into that, I want to show this cute picture. Um, oh. We gave you a onesie last, not you a onesie, we, oh. but we gave the baby. Is that the best? Isn't that Look the at Miller. Thank you so much. That's just beautiful. And we had a little scare this weekend. She mm -hmm. went to the emergency room. Or uh, their oh, no. Billy Rubin lover got so high they uh, oh. it was two points away from a blood transfusion. Oh, we were scared goodness. to death. We okay? were scared to death. She's perfect. Okay. Perfect health. She's got her WHS on. She's That's ready to come the, on air. Isn't that the cutest little? It's a little we're going to groom her for the Queen's position. <laughs> oh Great God. day live. Oh my God, she's adorable. <laughs> she is adorable picture. Precious. Um, this topic of tax mistakes, right? Like when I read through it, I'm like, am I making? these because they are so common and if you have somebody that files it or maybe you do it at home these are easy to make easy to they're miss. very it, easy to make listen leaving two, money on the table I tried to find it this morning and I couldn't but I know I did this segment a couple years ago and taxes have changed completely now oh, but yeah there was over 20 billion dollars 20 billion dollars that consumers miss just by not knowing the true tax code. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, listen, I don't even do my own taxes. Me taxes neither. change every single year. I'm going to tell you about a couple one, and the one I want to start with is not even on our list today. Okay. This is one of the biggest changes in the history of financial planning for me. Previously, you could take a 529 plan and put that money in for your grandchild or yeah. child, right? Yes. And then if they didn't use it, you either had to change it to another child or take it out and pay taxes. Under the new rules, mm -hmm. if you have that for 15 years, you can convert that 529 plan for a Roth IRA Love for your that. child or grandchild. That is a huge deal. That's you can great. put that in there, no job, no anything. Love it. Miller is getting, as soon as we get the social, yeah. Emma Grace has hers. That's that's a perfect deal. That's going to all add up. So one of the other big mistakes, we mentioned this, not putting your social security number that could lead to a lot of delays, like never getting it, right? Never getting it. They can't find it. you in the system. They can't find you. Look, they're two years behind on a lot of stuff. And I told you before, you know, don't, when it comes to this stuff, LifeLock, and I'm, again, I'm not a paid consultant here. Jennifer and I have had our taxes stolen twice um, in California. So I've got LifeLock and identity threat. So, and it came down to <laughs> mm -hmm. that social security leak and Equifax, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And I got a big $21 settlement, by the way. <coughs> but nonetheless, um, and you know you look at that Medicare premiums mm -hmm. if you're self-employed you get to write those off state taxes that you paid last year most people forget those uh, you get to yeah. write those off if you're self-employed Social Security taxes you get to write those off so those are three quick things if you're self-employed yeah. or start a little LLC that you can write off and save what, taxes. What mistakes do people typically make like on these out-of-pocket charitable contributions? You know most people I feel like that changes every year so it, I feel like it's always like this gray area. Yeah like last year was 250 this year 300 yeah but you don't even need receipts so if you're actually putting money in you can go up to 300 bucks and not have receipts for that. Now, I don't want you to lie. Right. You know, the difference between tax evasion and tax avoidance, 20 years in prison, right? Mm. So make sure <laughs> that you literally uh, are, are, mm. are truly doing that. Um, and you mentioned refinancing points too. So yeah. what if you refinance? Or buying. Or buy. Yeah. yeah. So you've got that point. If you're paying those fees, if you're paying financial planning fees, all those are tax mm. deductible, yes. right? So make sure you look at that mortgage and go back to that mortgage rate. The other thing I'll say is for those of you that are lucky enough to have capital gains and it pays each year, yeah. that becomes part of your basis. And you need to make sure you tell your tax person that so you're not mm -hmm. being double taxed on those dividends. Very easy to do. I see even my clients make that mistake that I got to remind them. And last is this hope credit. This does change too, Claudia. So previously two years, if you make up to 80 grand, you, you could claim up to $10,000 of college tuition for yourself. Yeah. Now under this new hope credit, you get to claim all four. Ooh. So that's that's Perfect. literally that's huge. Thousands. This segment, use them all, saves you ten grand right off the bat. <laughs> Think I'm invest it with you. Is that's that right. <laughs> Take all those savings, bring them on in. Mark, always great catching Thank up. Thank you. So if you want to get in touch uh, with Mark and make your first appointment, just go to lambkinwealth.com.